What is happening guys? Welcome back to the channel and to another video. So, if you're watching these videos in order, this is part three of the bumper video. It just all got a little bit long, so we decided to split it into three episodes. Let's go now and join me the day after the end of the last episode. Good morning, welcome back. So, filler has gone off, it's all nice and hard. Now, if you can just see around there, I have had a bit of a guy with the sander to see how easy it sands and all of that jazz. So, plan now is, we're going to go over and sand it, get all the high spots off and get all the um, sort of bits where it's, it's yeah, built up and furred up and whatever, where we've tried putting it on. Get it all down sort of flat, give it another good layer um, of filler. And then hopefully we'll be sort of starting to shape it then, because as you can see here, as you can see here, the filler's sort of dipped in a little bit and you can still see, see that line. So, quick sand, a bit more filler and then see what to do next. There's its first sand then. Um, yeah, looking good. We've got obviously quite a few low spots. You can see these black bits here are obviously the low spots. Um, so it's sanding here and not and sanding here, but it's not sanding here. So we need to bridge that gap with filler. So that's the next job. On to round two of filler. Let's roll. There's filler round two. Uh, so we've got filler up, back on all of it. Um, I have just had a bit of a sandy sand just to make sure it's gone off, which it has. So time to put the mask on again, grab the sand up, and see how flat this is gonna look after round two of filler. Absolutely covered in dust. We've gone for round two, I think, of sanding after we did round two of filler. So I have made I've made a couple of cuts. So I've cut this corner out here, and I've done the same on the other side uh, because I brought this to a point when it really didn't want to. Because I was finding when I was sanding this here and feathering this in it was sanding down into the plastic and it just wasn't doing what I wanted it to. So I've just cut that corner out. We'll fill that with filler. Uh, we'll go around and try and fill all these areas with uh, a bit more of that thick filler as well. And then hopefully after the third time of putting that thick filler on, we will be ready to then, well after it's been sanded, we'll be ready to then go over it with the fine surface stuff and get it all nice and smooth before we then chuck it into primer. So that's that filler. We've gone hard now. Um, we'll give that a bit of a, a sand back. Probably gonna have to go over it again because I cut those little holes in that corner and obviously the first layer of filler is on trying to pull it across, it's pulling it back out. So yeah, we'll see how this looks, a bit more filler. Um, and yeah, see how it's going. Hopefully it's not too boring watching all this sanding, but I wanted to show you just how much work's involved in making these, because yeah, it's not a five minute job. So we've got that round of filler all done, sanded down um, and sorted. I've gone now and put more filler on to try and give it another sand to see if this gets it any better. I think after this it's still going to need more, um, but yeah, 
No one said it was going to be a five minute job. So let's get on sanding this and then hopefully move on to some fine surface at some point. There we go. That is that sanded down. Last coat of SMC on absolutely brilliant stuff. Works like a treat. Yeah, looking mega. It's a hell of a lot better. Now it's sort of starting to get similar colours. That's not clipped in because the bracket on the wing is broken. So yeah, if anyone's got one of them, let me know because I need one. Next part means we need to get the bumper off, get it on some trestles, so we can now start laying the fine surface filler. So now all the SMC carbon fibre filler is on and finished to a point. Um, filling in all the deep joins and crevices and things like that. It's time to go back over it now with a fine surface filler. So the one that we're going to use is U-Pole Dolphin Glaze, which is recommended on the SMC, you use the two together, it works. So this stuff is really thin and it's like water. So it's obviously two pack again, two parts. So we'll mix some up on here and we'll start laying it on there. Now, I've used this on another part, which you'll see in a later video, uh, just to have a play with it and see what it's like. And it sands so nicely, sands really easy. So don't be afraid to lamp loads on to help you get the shape of the bumper that you want. I'm not gonna mix too much in one go because I'm not sure how much I need for it. So. Let's mix some up on here, which is trim out the terrain, cut another one up, clean this down, make sure there's no dust on it, and get some of this mixed. The bumper's been wiped down and blown down several times um, to just get all the dust off of it. The reason it's laid down this way is because this is so thin, it might run off of it if it's still on the van, so we can get a good layer on here. So, let's make a start. There we go, bump part is in filler. Let that go off, and then we'll try and get it sanded back, get it all nice and flat. That goes on so nicely. Hopefully, it will sand and give us the finish that we want, but when I played with what else I've been playing with, it sands amazing, so yeah. Leave that for, I don't know, an hour or so, let it go off, come back, give it a sand. So apparently, the camera decided that you'd seen enough sanding and didn't need to see me sanding this bumper. Didn't work for some reason. Press record, red light was on, but it's not recorded it. But anyway, it's not like you don't know what sanding is. That's the first layer of fillet done, and I have now gone over, there was a few little bits that were a bit low, so I've just chucked a little bit more on. But yeah, looking good, feels really nice. So we now need to just go back over and sand these few extra bits of filler on that I've laid on where it was a little bit low. Um, but we we'll sand them by hand with a block and then we'll go over and key the rest of this lower paint on the bumper and then we'll sand a bit more of the texture down on the top, mask the grill out and then we'll go and get it in the booth and get some high build primer lamped on it and then we can sand that back as well and get it super smooth.
So guys, there we go. Bumper is all sanded and ready to go to the paint shop now for some primer. I would hazard a guess, I'm about two days, three days sanding into it. Obviously putting filler on, leaving it, letting it go off and sanding it. Obviously I'm doing other things at the same time as well, but yeah, it's taken me about three days to sand that um, and get it to a point of where I'm happy. It's had three or four goes with the SMC carbon fibre filler, which is for deep gouging, scratches, joins, whatever you want to call them. Um, and then I've gone over and it's had two, maybe three goes with the Dolphin. Now I say two or three or four or two or three layers of either. It had one big coat of the SMC and then went back and where bits were low, I've, done, I've put more on. And then the same with the Dolphin. We had one good coating over the whole thing, sanded that back. And then where that was a little bit low, I've put more on as well. So I'll show you around the bumper now, but it looks, I mean, it looks a mess because it's all different colours, but it feels pretty nice. Like I say, it does look a bit of a mess with all the different colours or the joins and all of that in it. But when you feel it, You've got nice transitions. It's all nice and yeah, it feels right. And it just, yeah, it works. So next stage is gonna be get this over to my mate James's spray booth. So we can get some good layers of high build primer on it. And see what it looks like in one color. Now you will notice in one video, I did say, um, I didn't wanna do anything with the grill because I wanted it to stay the sort of matte black plastic. Now, I caught it with the sander, so had no choice. So yeah, it's all gonna be being primed and then we'll be masking the grill out and painting that matte black. So yeah, next time you see it, she'll be in the spray shop. All right, as you can see, we're not in my workshop anymore. We're over at my mate James's place, Spray Hub Limited. Hit him up on Instagram. He's mainly furniture and joinery spraying, but spraying, spraying. He's got a nice booth, good extraction. So we'll get the booth in there and we'll get some primer slung onto this. There we go, bump is in the booth. Nice clean space with big extraction at the back to get all the, keep all the dust off fit and hopefully give us a good finish. So yeah, James is beavering away in his little mixing room, getting it all ready. So let's throw the GoPro on, get some primer on it, and see if my sanding actually is any good or not. So there's that bumper all in primer then. It looks a hell of a lot better now, it's all in one colour. Um, it does need a bit of work still um, after it's now been in primer, but I have to admit, I did expect that. It's difficult when you've sanded and done the amount of work to it that we have, when you've just got the filler on, it's difficult to see every little imperfection in it, but as soon as you lay primer on, it shows them up. So I'll show you over it. Managed to keep this arch line on the end. It needs a bit of filler work down here, there's something not, not quite right. And then it's furred up where I've primed them where well, I prepped the plastics but not a problem these bits of mottling should go as the primer all dries it's just the different textures different surfaces that it's on drying at different times but yeah grill obviously like I say we had to prime that but again it's all furred up from where I've sanded it shouldn't be a major problem as soon as it's gone off we will yeah nib it all down again sand it all down probably some 400 get it all nice and smooth and hopefully it'll look all right but we're gonna leave this video there. That can stay here drying for a few days. We'll get it back to the workshop and then make another bit of work on it. But yeah, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this one. Um, this golf bumper video seems to have done pretty well. So if you like what you've seen, you've not already, do please consider clicking subscribe, press that little bell to get notifications, like the video, drop us a comment, let us know what you think. But yeah, until next time guys, enjoy.